Right now on Fox 35 News at 5, a grave mistake. The headstone says one name, but someone entirely different could actually be buried in the plot. Thanks for joining us. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm John Brown. The families in Volusia County trying to sort out this mess that dates back centuries. And we're talking about the Lake Helen Casadega Cemetery. Fox 35's Matt Trezza joins us live from that cemetery today. So Matt, the city says that there are a lot of mats for the cemetery and none of them match. Yeah, that's correct. At least three different maps that we're talking about. Now, the Lake Helen Casadaga Cemetery is a local landmark, but for many people who have loved ones buried here, they say they feel forgotten. There could be a name on one headstone, but it's possible that there could be somebody completely different buried here. When we showed up here, we found Summer Bundy taking care of her family's plot. She says it took her relatives a long time to find her uncle's grave. I kind of decided to grab like a big stick and I came over here to the side of this grave and kind of just poked down into the ground to feel for the stone. She says they eventually found it buried under a layer of grass and dirt. It was at least four inches down because this here was even with the ground on the other side of the stones. The Lake Helen Casadaga Cemetery has two sections. Summer's family plot is on the new side where people are still being buried. There's also a historic side with graves dating back to the 1800s. Yeah. City Commissioner Roger Eckert says there aren't accurate records of either side. He showed us three different maps of the cemetery, each from a different era. Much of the information is conflicting. There's a lot of confusion even in those on who owns what plot in some of the areas they're not even sure if they the plots for the people were put in the right spots or not he says the city recently used underground radar to locate forgotten remains he says the next step is working with companies that can put all the old records into a modern system we're looking at hiring a couple companies one of them is a surveying company to come out and survey where the roads are and where the plots are supposed to be located at and another one that's going to go through the records adjusting the card files with the information on the, the maps that we have Summer says it's good that the city is setting things right. I'm very happy with them taking a step towards this. Now, there are two other historic cemeteries in the area, but they're both being administered by Volusia County right now. The city says, though, they're looking to re-annex uh, re those two cemeteries so they can fix them up as well. We're live. Matt Trezza, Fox 35 News.